Hey friends and welcome back. Today in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between TidyCal and Calendly and is TidyCal good enough to be cancelling your Calendly account? So this is a question that's come up quite frequently over the last few weeks in my tech membership. So I have office hours every Thursday and people can ask me any question um, that they need to find the answer to. And a lot of people have been seeing Tidy Cow's lifetime deal and they've been wondering if it is really good enough that they can cancel their Calendly account. I was actually in the exact same boat a few weeks ago. So I did a deep dive into Tidy Cow versus Calendly and then I made a decision accordingly in my business. So today I'm going to explain um, what the difference is between the two tools, um, what you would use them for. Um, we're going to go through the um, TidyCal free plan versus Calendly's free plan. Then we're going to look at TidyCal's lifetime deal versus Calendly's monthly payment plan. Um, and then we're going to see what's missing. And I'll give you my very honest verdict as to who can safely switch to TidyCal and who is better off sticking with Calendly. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about for the people that are new to running a business online is what is an online scheduler and who actually needs one. So when you're running a business, it is kind of unavoidable that you might need to have appointments now and again. So for example, I have calls that people book with me when they're considering to work with me. I call them a vibe check call. Some people call them a discovery call, um, but it's flat out a sales call. The idea is to figure out if we're a good fit to work together. Um, I have also got other types of calls, like sometimes I get on coffee chats with other business owners where we can discuss about collaborating. Um, I have paid appointment types like my six week business strategy um, and all sorts of other things that I need to book appointments for. Now, the thing is, most of my clients are not actually located in my time zone, but they're spread out across the world. So if I had to manually arrange each and every single appointment, which with each and every single potential client or existing client or potential collaborator, I would be spending hours every single week going back and forth being like, hey, how is Tuesday at 10 a.m. for you? No, I have a call there already. Okay, how about Wednesday at 3.15 p.m.? I could do that. Oh, yeah, no, but could you do 2.45? Because then, you know, we would be spending hours every single week going back and forth with our clients without an online scheduler. So to me, this is one of those essential non-negotiable tools that I have had for seven years consistently in my business. So what are some of the features that an appointment scheduler can handle for you? So first off, it's obviously your free appointments, your discovery calls, coffee chats, that kind of thing. Um, appointment schedulers can also handle paid appointments. So that's, for example, for me, my tech and systems audit, my business strategy package and all of those things. Um, so people can basically immediately book all of their sessions and then um, make a payment during the booking process. Another thing that an online scheduler handles for you is automatic appointment reminders. So an issue we can often have is that people book a call with you like two, three weeks ahead of the call date. And then by the time that that date has come around, they've completely forgotten that they booked a call with you. Um, so your online scheduler will automatically make sure that an email goes out maybe 24 hours before your call, maybe one hour before your call to make sure that your guest actually shows up on your call. Something else that your appointment scheduler handles is that it ties directly into your calendar. So you can basically uh, set up your availability in your calendar and then your appointment scheduler will basically feed that back and publicly display that to another person that's trying to book an appointment with you. So you have absolutely no back and forth provided that you keep your working hours and your calendar up to date. Everything else happens automatically. Now, I want to talk about why you should consider putting TidyCal on your potential scheduler list. So I've personally been using Calendly um, probably for about four years. I think the first three years of running my business, I first used to use this tool called Visita. That was like all the hype when I started out back in 2016. Um, then I switched to Acuity Scheduling. Um, however, they eventually got bought by Squarespace. And in my opinion, everything that gets bought by Squarespace gets ruined. Um, so same happened with Acuity. Um, and then I eventually switched to Calendly. So why did I consider 
switching away from Calendly if it's been working fine for me in my business for the last three, four years. Well, to be honest with the way that the um, accounts are set up for me um, and with the features that I needed, I was basically paying $30 a month for my Calendly subscription. And as a tech person, I have it on my schedule once a year as a minimum to go through all of my software subscriptions and to look at um, do I need to be paying those? Is there a new kid on the block that is doing the same thing? Um, do, is something else doing it better? Is it doing it cheaper? Like, you know, you have to check like expenses are an issue when you run an online business. So you want to keep an eye on those. Um, so obviously, uh, when I came across the uh, Tidy Cow lifetime deal again, I um, thought that that's a serious contender because for the cost of one month Calendly, um, I could get a lifetime of Tidy Cow. So for me, it was a worthwhile option to consider. And that's why I decided to do a deep dive into it. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. There is use cases where Tidy Cal is not going to work for you. I'm going to be really honest about that. And I'm also going to tell you towards the end of the video what that specific use case is, where you 100% want to be sticking with something like Calendly. Okay, so let's compare um, Tidy Cal and Calendly on the free plan. So both companies' free plans are are usable. You know, sometimes you have a case off with a software subscription that basically as soon as you sign up for the free plan, you realize that um, the free plan does not deliver the most basic features in a usable way. So the free plan is basically complete BS and it, it doesn't fulfill the function of the tool. That is a not the case for TidyCal and Calendly. You can sign up for both of these um, free plans and you can get some really good usage out of it. However, there are a couple of things that are limited on either one of the platforms and those are what I want to talk about. The first thing that I want to mention is um, appointment types. So both um, TidyCal and Calendly give you the option to create multiple different appointment types um, because sometimes you might have a discovery call, like a sales call that is 20 or 30 minutes long. And then you have client meetings and they are 60 minute long. So they need to be different appointment types in your online scheduling software. Now, Calendly on the free plan only offers you one appointment type. So if you're only looking to use Calendly to do your discovery calls because you don't offer calls for clients after that, or your calls are always the same length, whether it's a sales call or a client check-in, then you can kind of use Calendly on the free plan and make it work. If you're just being very vague in how you name everything, but otherwise it doesn't work. And that's where I want to be really honest with you. TidyCal beats Calendly on the free plan because TidyCal offers you unlimited appointment types. So I can basically have my sales call, I can have my client calls and I can have everything in there and I can have as many of those appointment types as I need to even on the free plan. Now in reverse, there's something that um, Calendly offers that TidyCal does not offer on the free plan and that is a direct integration with Zoom on the free plan. So when you have a Calendly account on the free plan, whenever somebody books a meeting, you can integrate Calendly with Zoom and a Zoom link will be generated for that specific meeting automatically and then put into your Calendly booking confirmation emails, into your reminder emails. And with TidyCal, that is not available on the free plan. However, I personally have one static Zoom link that I always use and I never generate new Zoom links for my meetings. So to me, this is actually an irrelevant feature because I just copy and paste the Zoom URL into my emails um, as the location and then it automatically fills that out and I never have it generate a meeting and I never have it integrated directly into Zoom. So if you're setting things up in that way, then it doesn't actually mat uh, matter that TidyCal does not have a direct integration with Zoom on the free plan and you can quite happily use it. Now, otherwise, um, those are really the only two features where TidyCal and Calendly differ on the free plan. Otherwise, everything else is pretty restricted on both platforms. So you cannot have group appointment types. 
You cannot send custom email notifications. You can not offer paid appointment types. You cannot have custom confirmation pages. You cannot integrate Zapier. You can't have SMS or whatever you want to call it, text notifications. And you can't integrate Google Analytics on either of the free plans. So basically all the other features are pretty limited as we're used to seeing on a free plan, but both functional out of the box, even if you have to stick with the free plan right now. Now let's go to looking at the paid plan and then I'm going to tell you what the main features are in general on the paid plan when we're comparing TidyCal and Calendly. And then I will tell you who can safely switch to TidyCal and use the lifetime deal and who needs to stay with something like Calendly or even more complex. Okay, so there's a few differences between TidyCal on the $29 lifetime license and Calendly. So I want to make it clear first that Calendly has two tiers of a paid plan. There is like an essentials or basic or something plan and then the professional plan. Now, because of the way I run my business, I personally require the Calendly professional plan. So that is why um, it was more expensive. Plus, because I do sales calls for two businesses, I actually need um, two accounts connected. And therefore, I was paying $30 a month instead of $15 a month um, for the professional plan. So there's um, some differences that I want to highlight between the two. Um, the first thing is the calendar connections. So Calendly at any point on both the basic and professional plan does not allow you to check more than six calendars for availability. TidyCal can do up to 10. To me, this is irrelevant because I work by myself and I just have, you know, the one calendar that I connect to. So that didn't really matter to me. Um, the number of appointment types are unlimited on all of them. Um, group appointment types are offered on all of them. Now, with Calendly, um, there is a little difference for the custom email notifications. So TidyCal on the paid plan offers custom email notifications. Um, Calendly on the basic plan does not, but on the professional plan, it does. So again, I like to customize my emails that are sent out to remind people to why they're getting on the call. And that's why I, again, need the Calendly Pro plan to be able to use it well. They all offer Zoom integration, website embedding, date polling, and all of that stuff. But another feature that is not available on Calendly's basic plan is paid appointment types. So again, if you want paid appointment types, you have to have the Calendly Pro subscription, which is again, not the cheapest one that you can get. Um, whereas with uh, TidyCal on the lifetime license, as soon as you've paid, you can have paid appointment types. Calendly on the basic plan also does not offer a Zapier integration and also the Google Analytics integration and text message reminders are not available on Calendly's basic plan. Now, there is a downside to TidyCal on the paid plan, um, and that is that right now, um, TidyCal does not at any point send text message reminders to people about their appointments that are coming up. Plus, um, TidyCal currently does not have an integration with Google Analytics. However, um, there is a way you can track via custom thank you pages. Um, so there is kind of a way around the lack of a Google Analytics integration. And the data that's sent from Calendly to Google Analytics isn't that great anyways and can't be customized. So um, yeah, I would say this is negligible. However, if your people need text message reminders, then TidyCal is not going to be for you. There is something that is a huge deal breaker for me. And I want to talk about that. There's one feature that I can't understand why it doesn't exist in Calendly, and that is recurring bookings. So let's say you are a coach or a consultant and you sell people a package of six sessions. There is no way to set this package up in Calendly so that when somebody books, they are required to pick all six appointments at the time of booking when they make the payment. So then they'll book their first call, then I have to email them, I have to remind them to book their second call, um, or they'll end up booking five calls in total, or someone will accidentally book seven calls and I have to cancel one of them. And I've never understood why this isn't a feature that is not available in Calendly. 
And this is a feature that is available in TidyCal. So in TidyCal, I can say, hey, you want to do six weeks of business strategy with me? Great. Here's the link. Book your six sessions, make the payment and you're good to go. And I have a no more follow up admin with people to make sure that they book six appointments exactly and not five or seven accidentally. And this is a feature that is completely missing in Calendly right now. And this is one of the main reasons why I actually wanted to switch away from Calendly to something else that can handle this. I know Acuity can handle it. I know You Can Book Me can handle it. Um, but, you know, it just wasn't available in Calendly. Now, the question that we're here for today, is TidyCal better than Calendly? Well, it really depends on you and your business. So for me, I decided to make the switch. Um, reason being, number one, Calendly was costing me $30 a month. Um, and TidyCal is a $29 one-time payment for as long as it's available on the AppSumo deal, which I'll put in the description below. Um, number two, uh, Calendly doesn't offer this package appointment that I was just talking about. And I do actually sell package appointments. So this is something that was letting me down big time and TidyCal did offer it. So it's cheaper. Plus it has a feature that I actually actively use. Plus thing number three, I know how to get around the lack of a Google Analytics integration. And um, I'm not really fussed about text message reminders because um, most of my calls aren't no-shows so I'm, I don't have a no-show problem people only book a call with me when they're actually genuinely interested and need help um, so I don't really feel like the text message reminders were a huge thing for me plus they might end up adding that in future now um, who will TidyCal work for best I would say if you're a freelancer service provider coach consultant um, and you mostly work you know, on your own, then TidyCal is a great solution for you. And you should definitely consider it, particularly because you're cutting out the monthly recurring subscription. However, there's one um, type of business that I would not recommend switching to TidyCal. And that is basically anyone that, for example, has a sales team and uses the round robin feature in Calendly. So if you don't know what round robin is, then it's probably not applicable to you, but I'll explain it anyway, so you've heard of it. So round robin means that I, as the potential um, person to go on the sales call, the, the lead, the prospect, I will go and I will go to a calendar link and that calendar link shows me all the available appointments of all of the salespeople and I will let's say pick Tuesday at 3 p.m. because that's when I as the prospect am available and then Calendly in the background will assign this appointment to any of the available salespeople and you can say okay prioritize this person because they have a higher close rate or whatever or prioritize um, you know the earliest appointment for the potential customer like there's a few settings that you can give so if you use Calendly as a team specifically as a sales team and you make use of the round robin feature then you cannot switch to tidy cal because that is not available okay so as i said earlier um tidy cal is available um through app sumo on a 29 dollar lifetime deal right now i don't know how long that's going to be available for it could be that if you watch this long term in the future um tidy cal is no longer available on a lifetime deal um however even if i had to pay for tidy cal monthly um, if it's at the same price as Calendly is I would still consider TidyCal better than Calendly for my personal setup so I would not regret switching even if it wasn't um, on a lifetime deal anymore okay so if you're interested in checking out TidyCal you can sign up for a free account through their website um, and then I also have the link in the description below for the uh, lifetime deal on AppSumo. And as always, if you found this informative, I'd appreciate if you were to use my affiliate link. And yeah, that's it really from me today. I'll be back in a few days with another video around tech, business, strategy, marketing or anything like that. So I'll see you soon.